Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to double your frame rate in most of your games on your Steam Deck using lossless scaling in SteamOS working on Linux. Now if you haven't used it before, lossless scaling is a tool that lets you upscale games that don't support full screen or proper scaling. It's perfect for retro or emulated titles, but it also has a frame generation feature and a lot of people have been using that on the Steam Deck, but only on Windows. It hasn't worked on Linux previously, but it has now been ported to work on Linux and on SteamOS and as of late on the Steam Deck. So first of all, what you need to do is look for lossless scaling on the store it is on the steam store and it costs a few bucks you have to buy it you have to download it don't watch it it's not going to work just buy it and download it and then what you want to do is go straight to desktop mode so once you're in desktop mode you just want to go to this page i'll have it linked in the description is github.com slash slash lsfg-vk then you want to scroll down to this readme page right here and all you need to do is copy this command and then go here and type console. You wanna open console and you just wanna paste that command, click enter, and it's gonna say lsfg-vk is already up to date. This is because I already have it. In your case, it's just gonna say lsfg-vk is installed here. Now this worked for me out of the bat and I didn't have to do anything else, but if you face any issues here with this, I will post a link to their Discord where you can ask questions regarding the installation and people will help you. That Discord is full of people trying this out on Linux and on Steam Deck and a lot of people are even developing graphical interfaces that work as a decky plugin. So in the next couple of days, we're probably going to see a lot more progress on this tool, but that's all you need to do for now. Then you just need to go back to gaming mode and before you launch any game, you need to use a specific command in the launch command line that will enable the tool to work. So I'm going to show you the command. I am also going to explain what exactly the command does and I'm going to show you some examples of some of the games I tried. So I tried it on Ghost of Tsushima, Clear Obscure, Cyberpunk, The Precinct. Uh, for Ghost of Tsushima and for Clear Obscure it worked wonders. Now there is going to be some input lag but it's nothing compared to the frame generation that DOSS or FSR provide. It's very minimal and it's definitely working for me. Now what you need to do is type this command. It's enable LSFG equals one and then the LFSG multiplier equals two. This is basically you're setting that to multiply your frames by two. Now you can do two, three or four but uh, from what people are reporting right now on the Discord, 2 works best. So you can definitely experiment with this number. I recommend just setting it to 2. That will give you double the frame rate that you're usually seeing in a game. So if you launch a game and it launches with 30 FPS, this should make it 60 FPS. Now the next one is flow scale. So by default, the flow scale is 1x on 1080p. So if you set it to 0.75x, that's going to be equal to 800p or something like that. The lower the number, um, the worse the game is going to look, but it will perform a little bit better. So this is also a number that you can experiment with. Now I asked what full scale is, and from what I understand, it basically does all of the math required for frame generation, but at a lower resolution, so 25%. And that's pretty much it. And you can just leave this and watch the game and it will launch with it activated. You're going to see if it's activated by the frame time on the left, it's gonna go crazy. It's going to show you that there's a lot of delay in the frame time. Don't worry about that. There isn't really that much of a delay, but well, my first example is Ghost of Tsushima. Without it on the lowest possible settings, I'm running at around 37, 32, 40 FPS. If I turn on the game's uh, built-in frame generation, I can probably go to about 50, 52 FPS. That's what the usual going rate uh, for Ghost of Tsushima is. Now with it on, we're getting 60 FPS in Ghost of Tsushima. And let me tell you, it does actually feel like 60 FPS. You can also enable the built-in frame gen and then this will work on top of that, but it will definitely introduce a lot of input lag, so I don't recommend it. The next example I have is actually Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, and this one didn't really work that well for me. Now I originally tried the benchmark without it and uh, we're getting mixed results around 40 to 50 fps i did turn the two on and tried with that in the benchmark it worked really great but when i tried actual gameplay it didn't feel like it was 60 fps even though it was reporting 60 fps so you can definitely have mixed results with this i also tried this in clear obscure expedition 33 and it worked amazing there I was getting around 30 FPS without it, and I was getting 60 FPS, more than 60 FPS with it. With minimal degradation in quality when I set it to flow scale at 0.25, that's a bit low, but you can definitely set it to 0.65 or something like that, and it will work amazing. 
So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have already bought lossless scaling and have used it previously on Windows, you know the tool is worth it. And I definitely suggest you try it on your Steam Deck. That's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe for more Steam Deck content, and I'll see you in the next video.